Nothing ever built roads to touch the sky unless some men dreamt that it should. Some men believe that it will and some men will that it must. This is attributed to an English publisher, Lady Kathleen. We must have a dream, but what we do with the dream, that will determine whether they will come to pass or not. You see, a dream without a plan, concrete plan is a wish. A dream must have a plan how that dream will come to pass. Yes, I knew I wanted to precise over a big enterprise. But how to get there? The answer suggested itself during a business transaction with the Leventis Group in 1978 when I had gone to negotiate and purchase auto pass from, for, to resell in the East. You could say that was the defining moment in our journey to becoming a conglomerate. Even though it wasn't fully, uh, even though I wasn't fully aware of it then, what did strike me was not just the smoothness of the transaction, but the structured process that made the transaction possible. That interaction fired my vision. Did you hear what I'm saying? I went to Leventis to bypass the way the smoothness of that transaction fired my vision. I'm, I'm hoping some of the things I'm saying here will fire a vision if you have any. Because if there's nothing in you, I cannot put anything in there. I'm only trying to get what is in there out. But if there's nothing there, but I'm telling you there's something there. Because in every one of us, there is a seed of success lying dormant. And that's what we are trying to wake up. interaction fired my vision to create a business enterprise on the model of the Leventis group. The vision to build an institution that will remain timeless in its relevancy and stakeholders' valor took its very root right then and then. Looking back, I can only compare that experience with that of charting a course of uncertain but a desirable voyage. I knew the destination but did not know all the route to get me there. Challenge three, finding seed capital. I think this is where many of us can identify ourselves. Where do we find the seed capital? Is that correct? Everybody complain, I don't have capital, I don't have capital. As if capital does all the job. Capital played the most, the least important role in this action. Vision is much more stronger than the capital. Let me tell you, if you have truly vision to be successful and create an institution, you can start business today. You can start business today, today, with 2,000 Naira and can build an organization that is greater than Costalis. Ask me, how, how, how can that be possible? Okay, fine. If you're a young man, because the, the problem I have with many people is that nobody wants to pay the price. Because you see Costaris, you think Costaris was born like this from heaven. No. Costaris was a finished product, a product of process. Listen, a, a, a journey is not an event. It's a process. It's a route. You, you got to go through some pro a, there's no finished product that does not go through a process when you see a camera it looks very beautiful if I show you when they are building this camera you don't want to have anything to do with it because it's messy have you seen where a child is born have you seen where a goat is born every bat is a mess whether you are born in a hospital room or you are born in a, on the bush every bat is a mess and that's the same way it goes. But everybody must go through that process of birth. A, for a woman to give a birth, a lady practically die to bring out life. There's no magic for that birth, but it's a mess. But that child is being nurtured, growing, went through the pain. 
you, you, you care for that child in the next four, five years before he can start communicating to you, before you can start sending him or her a message. That's how business is done. When you have a vision to run a business, that vision, if it's truly a vision and you believe in it, that baby is born. The passion on it eats you up. It's just a question of actualization how it's going to make to pass. So how do you start business with 2,000 Naira if you are a young man? Let me give you one example. How much does a creeper, how much does it cost to buy a creeper? The creeper, the baba, the baba use, how much is a creeper? Eh? One five. How much is a scissors? 200 Naira. You can start a business by being a baba. That is not your destination. That is your starting point. You start cutting people's hair better than any other person. And you cut it with passion. When you cut a man's hair, you massage it, you touch it like this. Next time, he's calling you to come back to do it. You don't need to have a shop. You can start going to people's house to cut their hair. You, you are already in business. You are already in business. But what you need to do is to start managing every money you are earning. It's not any couple you earn, you eat it the following day. Because you have a vision. This vision you have will make people to curse you. Will make people to badmouth you. Didn't Joseph, wasn't Joseph cursed because of his vision? Even his parents told him, when he said, his parents said, Joseph, eh -eh, this is your vision, you don't get as it be. Do, do you mean we will also bow before you? Even his parents questioned his vision. So, when you have a vision and you are possessed with that vision, don't ever think people will like you because you are driven by a vision. People will question your intention, but just tell them to be patient because you know where you are going. Amen! You know what a vision is? A vision is that you are here, you make a determination that you are going to go to Lake. When you move out of this place now, you know when you get to the road, you decide to choose the road that will lead you to Lake. Because once you bust the road, there are always so many times four corners of road. One here, one here, one here, one here. But because it was clear in your mind that you are going to Lekki, you will not follow Badakri Road, start going back inside Badakri. You start either turning back through International Airport or you are going through Olile, going down there to go to Lekki. Is that correct? It's the power of vision. But if you don't have an idea where you are going, any road can take you there. When you reach my two, you can go left or you can go to a papa or you can even turn back and start going to airport because there's no place you are going. And that's what many of us do and calling ourselves business people. We have no vision. It is not clear in our mind where we want to go. Your vision drives you. So when you start this business with 2,000 naira, I have a barber that barbed my hair. He's in a, a put meter. He was a barber and one day he has made so much money being a barber, he bought a Jaguar. I told him, I said, I called him one day, I said, you are getting it wrong. Why did you want to stop being a barber? You've made some capital to invest into some other business so that you can get some other person managing this barber for you, generating you revenue. Why do you, you as an entrepreneur develop a new business but if you, if you now start cutting hair, then from cutting hair, the next thing you feel, you're a young man, you want to get married. You can cut hair and get enough money to get married. But once you get married, you have a child. The child needs to go to school. There are more demand in your capital that you can never further your vision or do anything. So, there are things you need to deprive yourself. It requires sacrifice before because you have a goal where you are going. Am I talking to somebody? Yes! If you have a vision, your capital is part of your intelligence. As in Costaris, I don't compete with my workers, the kind of shoe they buy. They, we go to somewhere, we travel, we enter shop. Some of them are buying $500 shoe. Because they have all the money you pay them. They are civil servants. If I sack them, they take their certificate to look for another job. 
but I need to keep goods in the store. I have a warehouse. I need to stock. I am the investor. So I look for $200 or $150 shoe that matches me very well. And if I wear it, I go away. So I'm not competing with my employee so that to show that I can dress better than self. Because I am the visionary. They are not the vi I only try to sell my vision to them. So my commitment is greater than their own. Amen. As the owner and as the entrepreneur, whether we make profit at the month of the end or not, I will pay them salary. But I will not collect any. But if their company grow, whatever it is, is my own. You see, so when you have a vision, seed capital is where many of us fell. We just sit down. Ah, how do I go into this business? This business, because Charis is on it. I don't have capital. How can I get there? My dream as a child was to compete age 11 years. That time, AG Leventis is the importer of Honda car in Nigeria. They are importer of motorcycle. They have a um, Leventis store. They are so big, you cannot even imagine competing them. Do you know I made my first breakthrough? First breakthrough from Bulos. Bulos is located at the Olegu in Ikeja. They are importer of Suzuki. I went there eight, Taking night bus from Unewi, I went to Bulos to buy motorcycle crash bar. When I go to Bulos, I knew they have a crash bar. Many people didn't know this crash bar is available at Unewi. I bought the crash bar because you need to be street smart. I'm taking it to Unewi. What I did is that I cut off the name of Bulos so that nobody knows where I bought it from. These are things they don't teach you in Harvard. If you go to Harvard, they will not teach you this thing. It's not among their curriculum. But these are called street smart, common sense that you need to use. I cut off the address and entered night bus and went to Newi. I sold that motorcycle crash bar that evening because nobody was so it's scarce. I sold all of them by 100% profit, collected the money. Enter night bus the following day, come to pull us. First time, I bought only three cartons. That is all my money can contain. When I came back again, I had enough money to buy seven cartons. I, I took a night bus again, went back to Newi, sold it that same day, collected the money, rushed back to pull us again. In one week, when I came back again now, I bought 15, 17, 18 cartons from the first two cartons I have. I did this about five times before the other people discovered that it's Bulos that had it. In one week, in one week, in one week, I made enough money. I went to buy myself CD175. That time it's like BMW 7 Series. I compensated myself because I worked hard. <laughs> so how do we find seed capital? Seed capital doesn't fall from heaven. Listen, as a businessman, we tell people that a boy that did apprentice, that understand what is done, we've seen it happen. If a boy did six years apprentice or seven, because you think that these boys that are doing apprentice, they are stupid people. They are, this is their own university. Some of them who, just like some students go to university, and started getting involved in drug, in court, and they don't achieve anything in university. Some servant also come to their master, start going to meet prostitutes in the night, living careless life, and they will spend their six years not amounting anything. But if you see some of the boys who are serious, during these six years, they are making studies, they are learning things. If you get a boy that did apprenticeship and give him 5,000 naira, and get somebody who had gone to university or got to secondary school, who only learned the trade six months and give him 50,000 naira. In six months, that boy that did the apprentice will catch up with the person who, who, who had with 50,000. This is the reality. Because he had some common sense on what to do. This sense you call common is not as common as you think it is. Okay? But you cannot be successful without common sense. Therefore, when you are starting business and you have a little capital, there's many demands coming every day. This person come and tell you everybody in the village is dying. 
the simple thing you tell them that, well, if they all die today, let's see if we can help them next tomorrow. But you cannot. One of the first thing I did is that I bought a paper, what I call a, a, a purchase book. I bought another paper called sales book. I bought another paper I call profit book. So every day, anything I buy, I record it. I record the things I bought. As I sell them, I record them. And therefore, and I mark the profit. So when I finish in the evening, I check and see the profit I made today is only 1,500 naira. So that helped me to know that if I'm going to spend money, I will not spend more than 100 naira or 150. Because I am building an organization. I'm trying to build capital. No matter whatever you tell me, if only thing I need to eat that night is boiling and then go to bed, that's what I will do. Because I, I must make sure that my capital is growing. On the week, I check how much did I make. In the month, I check how much did I make. So this is easy for me to know when my boy starts stealing from my goods. Because if you don't know how much capital you have, how do you know how to spend the money? Many of us just say we are business people. Anytime we want money, we put in hand inside the pocket. Boom. Jesus told the, the, the beggar, he said, when Mary, the, 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 the Judas was accusing him, he said, the poor you will always have. You cannot be a businessman and take your capital to solve a problem. You are ready to die. You can't say because you are hungry. The bird that brings you food, he didn't bring food today. Then you eat his wing so that you can be sure you eat today. After you eat the wing, then you are ready to die. There's no other plan you have. You will be patient. Even if you starve yourself for three days, you wait whether by tomorrow whether it's going to bring in food. Your capital is part of your intelligence. You guide your capital judiciously. Everybody can curse you. Say you are a very wicked man. Everybody is dying. You are not contributing money. You say God bless them. Because you have a vision. You know where you are going. I'm not saying you cannot make offering. I'm not saying you cannot. What I'm saying is that you cannot eat out of your capital. You can give out of what you have made. But you cannot eat your capital. Your capital must continue to grow. When you born a baby, do you start from the one, say, this baby, okay, go and fetch me firewood. You know so that baby, when you get to a certain point, you start sending him message. That is how business is done. You are, when you start business, you have born a baby. You need to let that baby grow before you start sending him message. If you start sending that baby message, you can send him where he can harm himself. But when he's matured, you can tell him, run quickly, go. He will go. Your money work the same way. If you are a businessman, you must, every month you must convince yourself. And then at the end of the year, you must say, this year I made so much. I gave you instances yesterday, what I did with people. If I don't keep record, there are many of my friends who are coming. Money, money. When you start seeing money, money is like a, like a, like a, like has a bad smell to problem. Okay? You know, if you stay in a, in a very good air conditioner room and lock it up, if you mess up there and make some dirty things there, you wouldn't know where big fly will come in. Once you have money, the big flies of eating money will come. What you need to do is to kill the fly. Bam! And focus on the things you are doing. Okay, let's make progress. Challenge three. Finding seed capital. And getting the bank to support the company. Those of you who have never tried to find seed capital for your business, 
do not those of you who have ever tried to find seed capital for your business do not need me to tell you how difficult this can be this is made more challenging by the peculiar physiological disposition of many of our people towards investing in other people's business particularly after the civil war remember that in 1977 the civil war has been over for only seven years and the federal government had implemented a program that effectively disenfranchised Istana from their financial asset and many people were trying hard to figure out the best way to respond going to the bank looked to borrow was obviously an option that was not available however growing organic carry was that meant reinvesting every profit from the business into the business and making sure we created goodwill everywhere by religiously honoring our credit obligation we hope that those who took a chance on us will find us worthy partners on a business integrity scale eventually relief started to come by the way of suppliers credit from some of our suppliers like gs motors japan abro industry usa axo nobel netherlands etc who saw how religiously we kept our commitment and who sometime unsolicitedly recommended us to others as good to do business with. Access to capital will continue to be a major challenge, even with all the hope loans about microcredit and SME financing, which top government announcement program for assisting a growing business. I have had cause to wonder sometime how different things may have been for the group today if we had access to more capital then. Many of the many were of the opinion that the banks are not there to actively help entrepreneurs but to take the little they have been able to accumulate. Their well-dressed officer will ask you for a business plan, a marketing plan, a strategic plan, and every other plan. When you tell them you haven't got that, they wonder how you can run a business without those documents. The fact is that when you are starting from a grand zero, in the circumstances that a typical apprentice take off, a formal business plan are not the priority. Even if you knew the, even if you knew them to be important, what time would you have to put them together, and how would you be convinced that the cost of putting them together will justify? the return in such an investment. Today, with many professionals managers in our team, we have capacity within the company to anticipate what banks usually ask and look for in granting loans to indigenous operations. I am convinced that the Costaris group would have achieved more if the bank saw themselves as, a, as more as a partner than conventional lender who provide assistance by when credit risk is non-existent or, or minimal, the facility and your facility over secured, they might have as well considered it, taking it upon themselves to guide us in that particular, in that, in preparation of that apparent important documents. Unless the bank change the way they see the indigenous business enterprise, I expect this challenge to linger. As, a, as I mentioned earlier, access to finance, access to finance, capital market or bank loan has been a limited factor over the years. To start with, many banks shy away from medium and long-term lending, preferring short-term transactions with cash cycle of within 90 to 180 days. When we manage to get access, when, when you manage to, to get access, transactional costs prove prohibitive then there is this issue of finding adequate collateral difficult if you do not own a prime real estate or share certificate of major companies 
you can imagine that we really had no choice but to grow via internal generated fund a process that can take a very long time and require speedily re strictly resolve and relentless pursuit of one's vision access to fund is very vital in growing an enterprise now are you still following me okay you see i told you that over a period of time suppliers credit started coming this is where many christians also make mistake and that is also where lack of plan create problem when you may not have capital but if you honor your credit obligation religiously you will get suppliers credit what do i mean by suppliers credit suppliers credit means somebody give you your goods on credit and allowing you to sell and bring back the money the person is taking absolute risk on you but how can somebody do that the person need to observe you first see the level of the turnover you are doing in my campaign i can't give you credit i'm not sure you will be able to repay because if i do that i'm helping you to commit suicide i wash you i see every two weeks you are buying goods from me what ten thousand or what hundred thousand or what two million if i see you are paying every two weeks you are buying i consider that if i if you are doing one million i said if i take a risk of two fifty thousand from you you won't use it to run away i will start giving you a credit of two fifty thousand because i know you will leverage in your capital of one million to be able to return that money the bible told us it's clear people who do not have nobody give them even the little they have is taken away from them they only give people who have so if you want people to trust you you need to build capital yourself capital will not fall from heaven capital will not come from trying luck capital will not come from going to Ica Ica pool you it, you it's a hard work it's a discipline you learn yourself denying yourself many things many of your colleagues when i started my business anything i did not have in my office i do not have before i buy bought air condition in my house i have air condition in my office because office is where I make money. Office is more important. It's the thing that generates the, the revenue. So my business is managed and giving attention. In Japan, when you meet a Japanese and you ask him how is the family, he tell you why are you ask him about the family. The Japanese said, we don't ask about family. If business is good, family is good. If business is not good, family is not good. Is it not true? A man that is not doing anything. How do you ask him about his family? His family is suffering, if you want to know. His family is suffering. But if business is good, the family is good. Because from the business, you will take care of the family. So your business, you need to give your business attention. Actually, you know, this thing I'm telling you, there are some of them nobody will teach you. Anointing will give you the inspiration on what you need to do. It's not so much of a classroom work, but some God needs to speak back to you. Because if you, that's why I said part of the way to get success is that you don't live to please any man. You live to please God. If you please God, you will please your pastor. I can assure you about that. Because your pastor loves God. But if you don't please God and you try to please your pastor, you are making a mistake because it won't be long. Your pastor find out you are making warrior with him. You are not straight forward. Our, our allegiance should be to the Lord. If your desire is to do the will of God, people may hate you temporarily, but they will later come back to like you. Amen. Translating, um, I, I think time is running. Do I go on? Okay. Practice of building great business in Nigerian system. Okay. Um, companies that make companies that make best practice a priority are thirsty, thriving, and learning organization. 
they believe that everyone should always be searching for a better way. Those kind of companies are filled with energy, curiosity, and a spirit of I can do it. This is a quote from the former CEO of General Electric. Challenge four. Accepting that every business enterprise needs to have professional managers. You need to accept that and you need to implement it. We entrepreneur, because, you know, some of us think because we, it's, it's like church. Bible say, and some, he give apostles, some prophet, some, you can see somebody who is uh, a, a apostle that is also a prophet, but these gifts are divided. No one person has it all. Are you following what I'm saying? You as an entrepreneur, as a finder, because many of us have an inferiority conflict that not admitting where our limit is and getting people to help us. You think because you have money and they tell you, the greater than if you bunisi. If you bunisi, the greater than if you bunaba. What is in your brain is more important than what is in your pocket. Because that's where, where we make mistakes. Some of us start business, we are afraid to get professionals to help us to expand our vision, even though we are the entrepreneur. Because we think, why is this man? I hire people who ask me for more salary than what I earn. And I pay them because I need their sense. Did you hear what I'm saying? That's the only way to grow. If you think, if they think they have sense, why not they start business? They are, they are not entrepreneurs. They can only function in a, on, in a structured organization. That is their capacity. If you give them one billion naira to go and start a business, they will fail. It's not their calling. But you as an entrepreneur have the eye than them. But they have a better way to structure you and make you move. You need to get them. It requires mechanics and dynamics to work together. Dynamics without mechanics is no good. Neither is mechanics without dynamics. When two of them come together, you will see action. <laughs> Accepting that every business enterprise needs to have a professional manager. We entrepreneurs have strong vision and drive. But generally, we do not always have hands-on business management skill on general economic knowledge to fully grasp the, the broader policy issues that may affect our business operations. Unless you have grown a big company from the scratch, you may, not, you may find it difficult to understand the pain of making the transition from a successful one-man show to a structured system driven by organization. Let me tell you through. This is the most important junction of the road you can turn to becoming a big enterprise. If I did not get professional people to work with me, I would have had enough money to be building big houses in Ajegule, build some houses in Abu Wadafi, and different places, and buy a car, change my car every year, make sure my family go up on it. But there will not be an institution called Koscharis. You need the professional managers. They, you are, the, you are the, the driving force, but they have something to contribute to widen your vision. Unless you have grown a big company from scratch, you may, not, you may find it difficult to understand the pain of making the transition from a successful one-man show to a structured, structured system-driven organization. I can tell you that this is not one of the I can tell you it is not only one of the most difficult steps to take but possibly the most crucial in, in growing a small business into a very large one for most self-made men it is not easy at first to accept that the, 
the, the quality of system generated oppression may be better than one own gut, gut feeling. Yet, unless that translation is made successfully, the entrepreneur will be bogged down with routine operational matter that will that will never have that he will never have time to attend to attend to a strategic issue, not to talk about testing new ideas that could grow the business. Choosing to rely solely on yourself for every decision means that you must be ready to be virtually everything in the organization. Not only are you the CEO, you are also the chief marketing officer, the chief accountant, the chief strategic, and whatever chief there is need to be in the company. Professionalizing our operation was a critical step in our journey to conglomeratehood, if there's anything like that as in English. This ensures that we are not that we are not forever mild with operational matter that best that the matters that de, that delegated to professionals who with authority attached to their position we are not we are too willing to accept the responsibility. Professionalizing was not as easy step for me as our as we our we grow. To start with, having lost my father at the early stage of at the early stage of four and not having the pressure of receiving a formal education, a strong vision and dogged determination, coupled with solid understanding of the intricacies of motorcycle pass business was what I brought to the table. In one way, you can say I graduated first class from the University of Motor Spear Pass business in Nigeria. <clears throat> you can say that if you want to be charitable. On another hand, I felt that the so-called profes the professionals were out of tune with reality and lack the street smarts. On the other hand, at the moment of my true encounter with the my true my true encounter at my tra transaction with Leventis keep nagging at my mind. But what must what must be seen to be a professional or run organization if we are if we are to be taken serious by partners that deal with us locally and international. The decision to professionalize our business and compete in a structured form was a major turning point in the business. It brought, it brought the introduction of new rule in the company. It brought the introduction of the new rule in the company. People with expertise in specific area, e.g., accounting, management, information, information system, administration, etc., by drawing a formal organizational chart that was easily to identify the skill that must reside that must reside in the people that we look for to execute the strategy. Challenge five is another big challenge. Forming a team out of the employees. Enthusiasm is contagious, so it is also the lack of it. And another man said, make an emotional investment in your organization and the people around you. I can tell you right away that one of the most deceitful, simple things any entrepreneur will face is the selection of his team. That's because even as I speak, it remains a never-ending challenge. When you listen to the expert from the business school, they make it look like once you have drawn up a business description, finding the people who match the experience and skill to do the job should be a no-brainer. Not so. And even, even if you got past that, you are likely to face a more difficult challenge. Successfully selling your vision to those new hired such that 
the fire burning inside of you can be transferred into them is a major challenge we face along the way was making believers out of those professionals type who naturally want authority so that they can so that they can responsibly discharge their duties however the Costaris group whatever Costaris group has achieved today is mostly because of the team we have been able to assemble over the years and it is and its commitment to realizing the vision of the company today it's real for an for a, a bot, bottleneck to arise in the campaign simply because I am out for extended period of time. 